I tried to learn how to park ski in my 50s, right? And park skiing is the discipline of skiing that involves tricks and jumps and flips and spins, very dangerous, very acrobatic. And for about 11 different reasons, it's supposed to be essentially impossible for somebody my age to learn. And it's not if you understand the new science of peak performance aging at all. In fact, I learned how to park ski faster almost than I've ever learned any, any skill. And it wasn't just me, by the way. I, this is something that I want to point out. We had developed a protocol. I did it first and it worked really, really well. I had a ski partner, 20 years younger than me, right? He was applying it. And he's a former sponsored athlete who went to college, stopped being an athlete, had a family, had a career, and came back to it in his late 30s. And he made more progress using this. And, and we went, okay, this is really amazing. But this is what? Like, this is the sexiest pilot study anybody's ever done, but it's not real data. So we came back the following year. We took the same protocol. We took 17 older adults, ages 29 to 68, most of whom were like intermediate skiers and snowboarders. And we used the same protocol and in four days on the mountain, trained them up so they could do it. And then we realized we were on to something. Then we stripped out the action sports because not everybody wants to learn an action sport. And we reran the protocol with 300 and some people saying, look, we learned how to, I learned how to park ski. That was my thing. You got to figure out what your thing is. And I've got like, there's hundreds of people who have now done this. It's everything from there's a, a woman in Japan who's going for her very first solo art exhibit in her 70s. She's been an artist her whole life. This is right to, you know, I've got guys learning how to downhill mountain bike in their 50s. I got rock climbers in their 70s. I got kite surfers in this. It's amazing. I get like emails from all over the world now. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. There's a guy, a climber who starts to start calling himself Rad Grandpa. And he's posting all over Instagram. I mean, like, it's been really fun since it's happened, but all of them and everybody we've trained has said the same thing, which is like creating this kind of challenge, applying the tools of big performance aging and, and overcoming it would changed everything. You got to prove it to yourself. And I'm a big believer in that, right? We've got great built-in bullshit detectors. So find a way to prove it to yourself.